Three hacks to become a magnetic speaker today. Hi everyone, my name is Mahadeer and let me share with you three hacks on how you can start becoming a magnetic speaker. Hack number one, and that is movements. Movements is your hand gestures, the way you move on stage. So why do I say movement? You see, when a speaker uses a lot of movements, they have a tendency of creating energy. When you move, you create energy. And not just for yourself. As the audience, if they are observing you as a speaker, using a lot of gestures, you're helping them to stay connected in your presentation. Hack number two, and that is sounds. Sounds here means that how can you add sounds in your gestures? It could be a snap, it could be a clap, it could be a tap, it could be one of the sounds that you can create. So why sounds? I'd like you to see this as a differentiator. If I were to say, let's get it done now, versus let's get it done now, which one do you think will be able to grab the audience's attention? The one with the sound. Because the one with the sound is able to create some form of cue for the audience to be drawn back into what you have to say. So number two, and that is sounds. Hack number three, and that is vocal projection. Vocal projection is about how loud and how soft you're able to speak on stage. Vocal projection is not about screaming. If you scream, that is really not vocal projection. And vocal projection is how strong you are able to use your voice to command the audience. Notice this, if a speaker speaks too soft, the audience may not be able to listen or continue to pay attention to your presentation. So how do you speak with a powerful vocal projection? Two things. Number one, speak with a target. If you know there's a speaker at the end of the row, try to speak beyond the end of the row. Don't speak towards the front or the middle because you know that the back will not be able to listen. So speak with the target. Number two is to elevate your head a little bit so that you're able to release your vocal cords in a more relaxed state and then lock your voice across. So if you put your head down, you are really restricting the vocal cords. So I'd like you to try this. Put your head a little bit up and really try and throw your voice across. This takes practice. So keep practicing until you get good at vocal projection. So the three hacks to become a magnetic speaker. Number one is movements. Because movements create energy, not just for yourself, but also for the audience. Number two, and that is sounds. How can you add your gestures and sounds and put them together? Whether it's a snap, a clap, a tap, whatever it is, try to incorporate sounds. And the third one is vocal projection. Speak with a target and lob your voice across. With that, I'd like you to try this out, the three hacks, and let me know in the comments on how it worked out for you.